the beginning of wisdom is to know that you know nothing just that one thing to love God it is available to every single living human being only to human beings I had this discussion with some fellow with a Hindu background and he's saying you know don't dogs, cats, horses, monkeys, the rest of them have souls. Well, yes, of course, they're beautiful. Particularly for me, dogs. <laughs> Don't talk about your dog. <laughs> Many tears. <coughs> we have a human soul. The capacity to love you, my Lord, to articulate it to express it through music, through poetry, through art, writing. This is me expressing my love, by talking. And then we give express, expression to that love in, in different ways. I just found the passage, you know, I thought there were 11 gifts from the Holy Spirit, but there's seven in that passage in one of the letters, Paul. Well, if we have a gift, then we must share it, express it, whatever it may be. I do find motorway service stations interesting. There's this I'm just at the front here and there's a people constantly walking by and just elderly gentlefolk coming through at the moment, probably from a coach trip, just watching people walk and chat and we all oh, we miss the loo and they go that way and they come back and so on. There's some nice spots here. I mean part of this business. I just looked up one of my films, Evangelize England. Well, Billy Graham from America used to come over here. I was in Liverpool at the time and the cop, I think it's called, the big sports stadium. He filled. Sing a hymn and they were there for Billy Graham. They were there for a Christian reason. Well, I'm absolutely capable of doing that sort of thing. Absolutely. People not to play football. <laughs> Sorry to all you footballers out there. <coughs> we might just borrow your stadium for God. If people love God with the same passion that they go for football or whatever, wouldn't the world be a better place? See, that's when I think of football. People, you know, all that energy going into something. And you're missing the point, chaps, if you just don't make the first step. Love God first. Through Christ. There is nothing else. Everything else is something else. But it is not eternal life. Yes, I pray about this. Again, one of my films, and I'm obviously going to chatter on here for a bit, is Abraham the father of the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims. The Muslims came first through Ishmael, the bastard child of his wife Sarah's servant, Hagar. In that sense, the Muslims were there first for the Christians. Isaac and the Jews. I love you, my love. There's more. <laughs>